Chaton and I both went to, to Catholic school, and I think there was, uh, at least for me, 12 years of, of Catholic rebellion uh, just waiting uh, to, to come out. Uh, Chaton had actually had a, an experience at an abandoned convent. And I had this just obsession with this building. It's this evil looking building. So, uh, one night we're partying and I talked a bunch of my friends into breaking into the condo with me. And we broke in and it was just evil inside. It was so scary and it, our imaginations just went nuts. We saw, you know, bloody handprints and we saw decapitated statues and huge spiders and all that. And we'd heard that homeless people were living in there and Satanists were living in there. and. So, you know, we'd always been told never to try to go in this building. We went in and it was just, it was a freaky place. A window just shattered out of the blue, fell on myself and my friend, and we had to run to the hospital. I had to get stitches in my arm. She had to get surgery because it severed an artery and blood was like spurting out all gnarly. Uh, that part was true. We took kind of liberties from, from there on. I'd always had like little visions of, you know, doing a movie because of all the urban legends that surrounded the original convent. You know, we'd actually heard that it got closed down because a priest had impregnated one of the homeless girls or one of the wayward girls and then forced her to have an abortion and they buried the fetus in the walls and we heard that, you know, dead fetuses were found in the walls, which I doubt, really, and I don't think that happened. You know, that that's sort of how, how the story came about and uh, I don't know, there was something so kind of twisted and fucked up about blowing up nuns that, that I thought it was cool. Turning it into an actual movie it was a really, really quick process. I believe it was greenlit before we even we even were writing it. We knew what the parameters were, and uh, we knew that that uh, we had a, a little bit of money to make something hopefully pretty wild and fun. Uh, so we kind of went with that goal of of having a, a bit of free reign uh, and trying to make something something just kind of cool with the little time and money that we had. The hours were rough. <laughs> it was a night shoot. There was literally days where I never slept because especially the first two weeks we were running into a lot of overtime. The hours, yeah, the hours were from about 5 o'clock in the afternoon until about noon the next day. Um, it was it was hard. It was really hard. It was all night shoots, you know, which is my specialty. <sighs> the hours were very, very obnoxious. Um, God, we would work all night and all day, it seemed like. The, the shooting schedule was very hectic. We had everything that possibly was time-consuming. Guns, dogs, uh, explosions, head decapitations, motorcycle stunts, uh, you name it, we, we had it, and all that stuff in, in 18 days really wears on you. I have absolute every respect for every actor that got in that demon makeup because I watched them day after day, and honestly, it was very cool looking, but also very uncomfortable, and I know that they all went through quite a bit, being the contacts and the prosthetics, and it was a nightmare. Um, no, it was fine. Dean Jones is a really nice guy. He's very, very good at what he does. And he was actually very good at making you comfortable and making you very, um, kind of easing you into this makeup process. But, I mean, you have full prosthetics on your face. But you have, you have, you're, everything's airbrushed on, you know, my face, on my neck, on my chest, on my arms. Um, it was a long time. It took a long time. It was about three hours. So they dragged me out take my underpants off. My hair turned red, my skin turned red, I was red. <laughs> the makeup was was very um, difficult. Every day, um, getting a lot of makeup applied and taking it off would take, you know, an hour and a half just to take off the makeup. But it was fine. By the end of the day, honestly, it's not, I never left the set on any given day just going, eh, I hate this, sucks. It was always, I was always very happy to be there. Um, so it was, it was hard, but it was, it was fun. And we also got to work with Coolio. Coolio, Coolio, and he really lives up to his name. Yeah. That's one cool cat. I love Coolio. Coolio, I love you. Okay, C double O L I O. I love you. He would walk in not knowing the lines, <laughs> right, and just bam, know him. I mean, he had a little sheet of paper. He'd look. Two seconds, he'd be done. Coolio is really sweet. Coolio is a really fun guy. My uh, first experience with Coolio, our trailers were side by side, and he came in my trailer to find out if I had a better TV than he did because he was going to set up his PlayStation or whatever. And we had bet each other, I think, $5 on 
a basketball game, you know, and the, the funniest thing was I totally hyped myself up like I could really play this video game because I, I couldn't, but I thought it would be fun. And I go into his room and he's got all these kind of guys around him and whatnot. And, you know, we bet the five bucks and I come over and he looked at me and said, where's your five bucks? And I said, oh, it's just right next door in my room. He literally would not let me play until I got my five bucks out of the room and put it in the middle of the floor. I lost and he just looked at me and kind of went, all right, get out and took my five bucks out of the floor. So that was my first experience with Coolio. That's, that's where I hide. And on top of that, we got to work with, uh, you know, kind of horror legend Adrienne Barbeau, which was just too cool for words. I mean, she was so, such a professional and so open to doing this and just so, uh, you know, easygoing about everything, uh, that it, it was just an absolute joy to have her on board on this. You know, working with Adrian Barbeau was just a dream come true. Getting to meet Adrian Barbeau, who turned out to be just the nicest person on the planet, and she was a total sweetheart, and she was amazing and extremely professional, and she was on it. She knew exactly how to do every single thing, and oh, it was amazing to work with her. Adrian is so kind and generous as an actress and ridiculously professional and honestly just amazing and what a body. <laughs> what a body on Miss Adrian Barbeau. We couldn't have asked for a better Christine. It was the only person we really wanted and, and, and we were lucky enough to get her. And off pops Dingo Head. I had Dingo Head for lunch. I loved working with the cast. We had just an awesome time working together. The best part was the cast. Just working with uh, the other actors. Good, fun, young, talented actors. So that was the best part. We had a blast. And I think that the great part about the movie was that the whole cast were, we were turned out to be great friends, all of us, and had a great time working together. And actually, Joanna and I had been friends before that. And uh, so it was really nice to work with her. That was the most fun. It felt like this club all of a sudden that you were, thank God, a member of. It was a great time. I hope if, you know, people are still watching it in 20 years, uh, that they will get what we were trying to do, which was not preach to you and not try to lecture you and not try to educate you in any way, but uh, just to, to um, you know, hopefully entertain you. And, uh, you know, I, I hope people had a good time. How do you describe it? It's really cheap, but it's really funny. <laughs> it's got everything. You know, it's, it's kind of funny that it's a, that it's a horror flip. It's going to be really funny. I have to say that I've, I've gotten nothing but fantastic responses from people that see the movie. It's so funny. And and I, I love the movie. I think it's a lot of fun. People seem to really take to this film. I mean, a lot of the, even, even though it's, you know, it's kind of goofy and silly and cheap. No, that was, that was wonderful. That's really been the best part about everything. I just had a really, 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 um, Dingo wallop of a time. Hey! Action! <laughs> oh yeah!